Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video tutorial, I talk and detail about linking worksheet with 3D formulas. So today, we are moving further into how to create data from multiple worksheets. So now that we have seen how to create the formula that will span across multiple worksheets, and by the way, you can also do the same thing across multiple workbook. Let's take a look at a more automated approach in Excel that does some of the work for us. Alright, I still got the same exercise file from my last video tutorial, all open before me. I'm looking at the summary sheet. However, I have deleted how the basic pay amount for the month of January that I have created earlier. Now, I want to perform the same thing, but utilizing a built-in tool inside of Excel called Consolidate. With a little bit of input data from me, essentially where the data at, Excel will fill in the data for us. Now, I need to do a little bit of adjustment here first. However, on the summary worksheet, I have got months with the consolidated futures. I really don't need months listed below here. So I'm just going to grab the cell A5 right here to what? To B, cell B17. Good by highlighting it and it on what delete key good on my keyboard so let i've already get rid of it now the reason why i'm deleting those is that the consolidated feature is not only going to sum up all the months listed below for me but it is also going to identify the proper month for me wash out this as how i'm going to perform that so um on the summary sheet that i deleted out the months so i'm going to click inside the cell a5 here so i'm going to go into my data tab at the top right here you can see it here my data tab at the top of my screen toward the now toward the left right toward the left far right so we have got a section called data tools all right so and i'm going to go to click on the word the consolidate here now i'll, I'll give it a click this open up a consolidate consolidate window where we have just a little bit of input here you can see so let me delete this let me delete this so let me delete this now all right now after that this already open up a window we have already or have a little bit of input now in is it's going to consolidate so we want to consolidate the 2017-2019 data sheet all in the world in the summary sheet for me so the first step i'm going to do that now is that in the function menu here you can see it right up here this depicts what type of consolidation do i want to perform here and i have got a number of different functions right here well for me i'm just going to do a standard sum by selecting what the sum from the list now it also needs the reference here to know where the data are the and data are to sum up on the summary sheet so i'm going to click inside the reference box here so now the next thing is that i will go down to my 2017 sheet right here 
I'll click on it. Now, I'm going to select the cell A5. Select, select, sorry, the cell, uh, cell A4 to B16. All right, and grab that as my first re reference. Now, so I'm going to go back to my consolidated window and it what the add button. Good. I have added what the 2017 reference. That is right. Well, I still need to do this two more times so that how we go down to what 2018 and always make sure that always make sure, always make sure that same bridge is also highlighted so now i'll click on hard button again now i've got two added here good now and i'll also go to the 2019 then also add it to the word to the consolidated window all right so that's done all right so i've got all the three References located in the three separate sheet, which is 2017, 2018, and 2019. Now, there. Now we are also we also got an additional option here. And uh, we have just three little check marks, which which are top arrow, left column, and create the link to source data under the word use label in. So let's take a scenario. Here, what if in a year you are adding and removing data from each month by adjusting the basic salary of each worker? Well, because we are not consistent in our in such data, there is any a way to identify this as it moves from war sheet to sheet so that it can consolidate that with each month that span across the years. So that is where the label use label in come into play now our reference has just got two columns here you can see that so the first column will be the month and the word the second column will be the word basic pay so i'm i'm going to use the left column from my reference as a label hmm? by clicking on what on the check box what left column now so i will turn that one which i've already done then other option here which, which have create link to source data and top rows so under the create link to data no i'm not going to turn my own i will leave it up to you but if you check that on it creates a link from your summary sheet to your previous three sheet and in this way 2017 2018 and 2019 sheet update their numbers using the what the links created created okay this summary sheet automatically updated so i will leave it up to you if you want that to be linked or not but make sure you use the word the left column as the label so that consolidate futures we know what we match up in the world in the list social world the january february, uh, february march april and so on when summing up the data so now what i need to do after gotten my three references above here using the word the left column i'm going to hit on what okay wow okay button two and i have consolidated the that data from the world from the three sheet which is which are what 2017 2018 and 2019 res respectively now in the month of january i have got two million two six two nine three three nine point three three oh from what 2017 2018 2019 january basic b so in the month of February as well, I have got three million three eighty five eight two seven three one all from what February in the month of two thousand and seven 
February data in the month of 2018 and February basic pay in the month of all 2019. All done just for you, but just a little bit of input for me as they did the consolidation for us. So try this out. Wipe out the previous exercise. Get rid of those monthly basic pay amount that you did manually and use the consolidated one futures. Try this out and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as I'll keep giving you more of the Excel function. Bye.